Unit 13 Structural Organization of Animals At the end of this lesson, the students will be able to understand the external morphology of the leech and rabbit, recognize the structural features of different organ systems, will be able to understand physiology of various organ systems of leech and rabbit, learn the parasitic adaptations of leech, identify the type of dentition and its significance in rabbit, perceive the differences between the structural organization of an invertebrate and vertebrate. Dear students, today we are going to take a new class, new chapter, structural organization of animals. So mainly about we are going to discuss two animals, two animals, leech and rabbit. So first of all, Animals they are found around us only we see only few animals around us but there are so many animals or species or organisms found in this world okay so all these animals they are coming under the category kingdom animalia you may have you may have heard about five kingdom who proposed a five kingdom classification Archivitaka according to Archivitaka there are five kingdoms Kingdom Monera, Kingdom Protista, Kingdom Fungi, Kingdom Animalia and Kingdom Plantae and this Kingdom Animalia which includes all the animals. Okay, so Kingdom Animalia if you check it is divided into two groups invertebrates and chordates. Okay, so some animals are under the, under the category of invertebrates, some animals are under the category of chordates. So what is the difference between invertebrates and chordates? Simple. Invertebrate means they have no vertebral column. Okay. They have no vertebral column. And chordates, these animals, they have vertebral column. Okay. So in this chapter, we will discuss about leech and rabbit. Leech coming from invertebrates and rabbit from chordates. Okay. So animals in this found on this biosphere they are uh, died they show different uh, they show wide diversity because of habit habitat and structural organization and mode of reproduction you know what is the meaning of habit habit means the architecture or general form that is called habit habitat habitat means where these animals found okay and structural organization, cellular level of structural organization, tissue level, organ level, organ system level of organization. So animals show different level of organization. Animals, they show different habit. They show different habitat. And they also show more different mode of reproduction. So in this chapter, we are going to discuss about the all details about leech and all these details about rabbit. Okay, next we are going to discuss just a general information about leech. Leech scientific name is called Hirbenaria granulosa. While writing scientific name, you should leave underline, okay, separately. Leech coming from which phylum? Phylum Annelida. And important point you have to remember here, they are metamerically segmented. If you take uh, leech body, you can see their body is segmented like this and each segments are called metameres so this phylum annelida members they shows this characteristic feature metamerism or metamerically segmented body okay so what is the scientific name hirudinaria granulosa coming from which coming from which phylum phylum annelida an important point they are metamerically segmented they have metamerically segmented body okay what about the rabbit rabbit scientific name is ortolagus cuniculus okay then they are from the phylum chordata this is advanced phylum chordata they have vertebral column so they are under coming under phylum chordata and they are coming under the class mammalia mammalia these members are more advanced okay so mammalian members are more advanced 
an important point you have to remember they are warm blooded animals animals are two types cold blooded animals and warm blooded animals so mammalian members are warm blooded and important point you have to remember mammary glands are present in female that's why this name mammalia comes okay so rabbit it is coming from phylum chordata and it is a mammalian member and each coming from phylum and later okay so these two points you have to keep in mind now we are going to study about structural organization uh, that means structural morphology and anatomy of both leech and rabbit leech we are going to check about indian cattle leech the scientific name is hirudinaria granulosa this first part of scientific name, scientific name if you don't know this indicates genus name and second part indicates species name so hirudinaria genus name granulosa species name okay let us uh, now we are going to check what is the taxonomic position of the indian cattle leech so taxonomic position first of all we already know they are coming under kingdom animalia then phylum annelida what is the major important about phylum annelida they have metamerically segmented body you should keep in mind okay phylum annelida they have metamerically segmented body then class hirudinia order nato delida genus hirudinaria species granulosa so keep this in mind taxonomic position of the indian cattle we are going leech. to discuss about hab habit and habitat of the leech habit and habitat so you know what is the difference between habit and habitat habit means the form of that animal habitat means where this animal found okay so majorly leech found in these countries india pakistan and myanmar myanmar and bangladesh and they are found in found in fresh water ponds fresh water ponds found in fresh water ponds and lakes and swamps and in swamps and also in uh, slow streams so these are the habitats of the leech fresh water ponds lakes swamps and slow streams and they are ectoparasites ectoparasites so what is the meaning of ectoparasite parasites are two types what are those endoparasite and ectoparasite what is the meaning of endoparasite endo means inside parasite found inside the host they are called endoparasite what is ectoparasite parasite they are found on the outside of the host okay so leech they are ectoparasite and major host of this leech includes frog cattle and human okay they feed blood on the from this host frog cattle and human and they are ectoparasite and they are sanivores 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 means they suck blood from their host so these are the major important points regarding habit and habitat of the leech where they are found they are majorly found in india pakistan myanmar and also in bangladesh and they are found in their habit habitat they are found in fresh water ponds lakes swamps and slow streams and they are ectoparasites they are found on the outside of the host and they feed blood from the they take the blood from the from their host like for cattle and human and they are also sanivores they suck the blood from their host next we are going to check shape and size of the leech indian cattle leech 
their body is usually always soft body they have soft body and they have vermiform shaped body and their body is elongated and their body is segmented so segmented what kind of segmentation they are showing metamerically segmented body they have metamerically segmented body because they comes under phylum annelida okay all the members of the annelida phylum annelida they shows metamerically segmented body don't forget about that fact and they may have the length up to 35 cm and if you are checking the coloration coloration the dorsal side and ventral side what is meaning of dorsal side the upper side it is called dorsal side and ventral side it is lower side this dorsal side color is always olive green color and the ventral side that means lower side they have yellow or orange color next we are going to discuss about segmentation segmentation so in the case of leaves they show metamerism metamerism okay if you take the body of leaves you can see their body is divided into segments and these segments are called metameres metameres okay so their body is uh, body of leech is divided into 33 segments 33 metameres and if you check these metameres or these segments they are again divided into so they are again subdivided into rings or annular okay so this is about metamerism which phylum shows metamerism phylum annelida because leech is a member from phylum annelida okay so how what what are the what is the total number of segments present in leech 33 don't forget then between 9th and 11th segments of this leech a temporary clitoral is found and during the breeding season this clitoral helps in formation of cocoon okay so in between 9th and 11th segments what present a temporarily temporary clitoralum present and this clitoralum helps in the uh, formation of cocoon during the breeding season okay so don't forget about segmentation next we are going to discuss about receptors receptors means these are the sensory projections found on this leech okay so if you check leech on the dorsal side of this leech uh, on the dorsal side of first five segments of this leech you can see first five pairs of eyes so dorsal side what is dorsal side upper side so in this upper side the first five segments on these five st first five segments uh, five pairs of eyes are present okay then coming to receptors i told you receptors are just sensory projections they are found on these segments if receptors are found on these each annulus they are called annular receptors where they are found on annulus so you know what is annulus annulus means it, the segments each segments of leech again subdivided into annulus or rings okay so receptors if receptors are found on this annulus they are called annular receptors and segmental receptors means these receptors they are found on the first annulus of each segment So what is the difference between annular receptor and segmental receptor? Annular receptor they are found on the annulus. Segmental receptor they are found, found on the first annulus of segments. Okay. So what is receptor? Receptor means they are just sensory projections. Sensory projections found on these segments. Okay. So if you check dorsal side of first five segments of 
first five segments dorsal side you can see five pairs of eyes so these are the main point you have to remember in case of receptors i am going to discuss about suckers so if you uh, take a leech you can see two types of suckers are present on this leech this is the anterior uh, end of this leech and this is posterior end of the leech so at the anterior end they have anterior sucker anterior sucker at the posterior end they have posterior sucker so the anterior sucker present on the anterior side and the posterior sucker present on the posterior side end so anterior sucker they are present on the ventral side they are not present on the dorsal side they are present on the ventral side and occupy at uh, the first five segments the first five segments so these two point you have to remember where this anterior sucker present on the ventral side and they are occupied on the first five segments of this leech on the ventral side and they are also called oral sucker oral sucker because they helps in feeding okay oral sucker oral sucker mean which is related to mouth so they take food through this anterior sucker and they are also helping attachment and also in locomotion so this anterior sucker is also called oral sucker and they are helping feeding and also they are helping attachment and locomotion and they are present on the first five segments ventral side posterior sucker they are present on the posterior end and they are present the they occupied at the last seven segments okay and they are also helping attachment and locomotion so these are the major points you have to keep in mind while discussing sucker so these segments where this anterior end found anterior sucker found first five segments where this posterior sucker found last second seven segments what is the main important point here in the case of anterior sucker they are helping feeding and attachment and locomotion and also posterior sucker they are they are also helping attachment and locomotion okay these are the homeworks for you first question write a short note about suckers and receptors of 